All right, day, day one in the books, okay? Um, 86 degrees, humidity came out for us, so it was a good, uh, good first day as far as prep for what we're going to see in the month of September. Um, thought we came out, we had great enthusiasm. Uh, thought you had some older guys that just had, you know, exceptional effort, uh, you know, great examples of how we want to play. Um, you know, lots of things to, to work on. It's day one, so we did a lot of things that, uh, you know, have to be corrected, but a lot of positives too. But uh, just a, a very motivated, uh, I thought we had strong leadership, um, just a, you know, very solid first day. A lot of new faces in that wide receiver room. Or, uh, has Holton and any of those guys gotten the chemistry together yet? Well, I mean, that's, that's what preseason camp's for. You know, sort of those guys were with us here this summer, but, you know, you can throw as much as you want to in the summer. You go out there in a competitive setting now, and you got a defense across from them, and you got, you know, the bullets flying faster and faster. Um, you know, you got to get everybody on the same page. And so I thought, they, you know, there's some, some really good plays today, and there were some plays where, you know, those guys aren't quite on the same page yet. So day one, uh, I expect that to improve each day. How do you manage the, maybe the energy and the anxiety of day one? Ah. I thought the energy was really good. I mean, I'm sure the anxiety was from some of the guys that's their first time out there. Uh, they just got to follow the leader, you know, that kind of deal. So, but uh, I thought it was a very positive day. Going along with that, how do you think they handled the heat? It got some of them. Uh, you know, they, there was so much excitement, you know, and they, and they went up there and you're going so hard. Uh, and then that humidity jumped up about, you know, first 30 minutes in and it started getting some of them. So, but, uh, you yeah, know, they pushed through uh, and, you know, the trainers did a great job keeping an eye on them. You know, every once in a while they'd pull a guy for a minute or two, but, you know, everybody finished practice. Uh, so it didn't have any major issues, but uh, certainly, you know, it's different going out there running with nothing on. And now all of a sudden you throw on those rock solid pads, you throw on your helmet and throw on the jersey and, you know, it's a competitive deal. So you're going a little bit harder, a little bit faster. So, uh, yeah, it's something it's, they got to acclimate. It had to be rewarding that, that you see each group, it seemed like there was a player or two that was actually coaching. You know, after his drill was through, he was trying to teach the other guys because, right. you know, and when you got here, you didn't have any of that. No. And, you know, we talked about that um, week before last, uh, you know, right at the end of our summer training, our leadership council, which is 16 guys, you know, there's, there's at least one from each position group. And, you know, we talked about, you know, that, that first year, those guys didn't have that leadership. You know, there wasn't anything like that. You know, it was the coaches out there, you know, kind of, you know, like you're trying to push them along kind of deal. But, uh, you know, we, we're fortunate to have strong leadership in our locker room, and, and those guys embrace that. We talked about uh, not only doing that on the practice field, but, you know, how, you know, their, their demeanor in the locker room, how they're talking in the locker room, staying positive, staying focused on the things that are important, uh, keeping the main thing the main thing, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, uh, it's you know it, it's a completely different program. We talked about it a lot, but uh, that's the way you want it. What are you looking for as you go group to group? I know you look at practice film after the games, right? Stuff, but what are you looking for specifically as you go group to group out there? Well, I mean, I, I want to see our ones executed at a very high level. You know, our first and really our second group because the second group is full of a lot of guys that I would I would call ones. So, you know, I expect those guys to function at a real high level. Um, you know, I want to see us improve daily. You know, as we move, as we move from practice to practice, and that's you know, when you have a, a older guy that maybe isn't quite up to the standard, now I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hard on him. I'm pretty, pretty direct with him uh, because they all embrace what we want to be. And so, you know, I want to see them execute at a high level and I want to see them improve. Now, when we get in pads, you know, I want to see them compete against each other. And, you know, we're going to do a lot of things with those first, couple, those first two groups. We're going to do a lot of things throughout preseason camp where it's going to be game situations, highly competitive, live drills. Um, and I think, you know, we're not going to overdo it, but we're going to do it enough to where we're prepared for that game one. Was there anybody or anything you saw today? I know it's just the first day, but you yeah. saw from the last time you saw them, you went, oh, all right. Well, I mean, the, the expected. I mean, you're, you're in helmets now because you always got to be careful what you say in helmets. But, you know, the, the, the two running backs, I mean, they look like the, the two guys I know. Uh, you know, I thought Holton looked really comfortable and really – really uh, you know, composed out there. I thought Macy O'Donnell made uh, several plays today that I was uh, really pleased with. I thought he showed some, some great burst. Um, you know, I thought uh, you know, for his first college practice, Marlon Gunn, I thought a couple of plays, he showed some great burst. Uh, I thought some of, the, some of the guys on defense of pre-Washington had a pick six. Uh, the first, first touchdown in the team setting today was a pre-Washington with a pick six. Uh, you know, and uh, I thought just you know, Miles and X and you know, Jeremy, Manny, I thought those guys, they looked like the, the you know, the, the experienced guys that they were. 
How will practice number two differ from practice number one, or is it kind of just still the well, process? Well, it, it won't be practice number one. That's true. You know, so that's – you know, you'll, you'll lose some of that first day excitement, but hopefully, uh, you know, you still have that second day excitement, but we'll still be in helmets. Um, you know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll move forward with our special teams installed tomorrow. So we'll have more special teams in practice tomorrow than what we had today. Um, and you'll continue with our, our, our install and offense and defense. And so it's just, you know, you start building, you know, and the thing that, uh, you know, we focus on is, you know, we're here today, you know, we want to be you know, just a little bit better tomorrow, you know, 1% better tomorrow. And if you can do that every single day and stack those days, then you'll look up a month from now and, and we'll be a pretty good darn football team getting ready to play uh, September 3rd. What is the biggest thing you hope to get out of these guys this week before they strap up, put the pads on, get real, hit any real football going? Well, I think, you know, acclimating to the practice and heat. You know, I think you have to do that, acclimating to practice and heat. You know, really getting everybody operating on the same page, you know, snap counts, moving together, you know, working together, you know, communication, you know, all the stuff that uh, is so, so important because, you know, when you add in that element of, of full contact, you know, sometimes you see guys go brain dead, you know, and it's so, it's so important to, you know, to really have guys, you know, as prepared as possible for that first day of uh, full, full contact. You mentioned the AFC media day that you believe that there will be more than five offensive linemen that are ready to start week one. Yeah. Is this the most deep offensive line that you've had since you've been here? By far. I mean, I don't know. We had five, period, my first year. You know, it's, you know, so I feel I feel good about our depth on the offensive line. I think, uh, you know, Bailey Malovic, first day back since that opening game when he you know, got injured last year. Uh, really excited to have him back and, uh, you know, full go. And, you know, just all those guys that were, you know, played last year. So the new guys with Ben and Justin, you know, some young guys, you know, Isaiah. And Walt uh, pushing into, uh, you know that uh, that two deep Parker Moore. Uh, so it's a it's a good good group. So uh, excited to see how they develop. Receiver wise, especially in the slot, who do you who do you kind of want to step up into those roles as you try to find a way to maybe offset you know Tyler Sneed leaving? Well, I think we have lots of uh, lots of candidates. You know, you saw you know CJ was in the slot today, uh, Maceo was in the slot today, Kerry King, um, Ryan. Uh, so, you know, got lots of candidates. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes throughout camp. Coach, could you um, explain the decision to bring CJ back? Was it a thing that he earned? Oh, he earned it now. It was not a very comfortable spring in June. Um, he did everything we asked him to do. Uh, he understands the mistakes he made. He was, uh, you know, remorseful, uh, took care of the consequences. Um, so July 1, he was fully reinstated. Uh, I think he's done a good job since then, uh, kind of keeping his mouth shut and, uh, you know, letting his actions talk. Uh, I thought he had a solid first day today, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, one day he's not going to do it. You know, he's got he's to earn back a lot of trust with a lot of people. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I was very pleased with uh, how he took care of himself this summer and uh, how, he's, how he's been so far. And so if he can stay on that path, then he's going to be just fine. Real quick, did you happen to catch D line the men's brothers? Kind of because every time I saw them, they were by each other. It's yeah, like that. I, I think that's awesome. Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know, certainly excited to have Chandra here. Uh, I think his experience and leadership and just who he is as a solid character guy is is going to be so important to that room. And you know, he, he's going to play for us. There's no doubt. He's got too much motor and too much want to. Um, and I think he is just. It's awesome to have him here for CJ. You know, it's, it's hard coming in as a a freshman lineman, uh, and you know, have big brother kind of you know show you the way it's supposed to be done, and you know, yeah, he's going. Chandra's going to push him. Now. There's no doubt about that. He ain't going to let CJ get away with anything, but he's also going to be there, you know, to say, hey, it's going to be okay. You know, tomorrow's going to be a better day. You know, that kind of deal. Because freshmen, they they have a rough go at it during preseason camp. Anything else for coach? How'd Malcolm do in his first day as yeah. SID? He did awesome. All right. <laughs> he, got through, he got through yeah. all the drills? Absolutely. You know, we got to make, make sure his conditioning is ready for uh, September 3rd. So. <laughs>